Okay, so my goal for today is to get takeout. Um, I have been avoiding this because I really am scared to speak French. Um, I even say like I don't speak French because people here, um, it's not really like Paris where people like immediately greet you in English. Like people assume that you are French. Um, and my solution to that so far has been like at the grocery store just saying the bare minimum and so people think I'm like really rude um but at least they don't think that I am not French I don't know what's better um uh, I'm leaning towards being English and nice rather than being French and rude so and now I'm rambling I am gonna order takeout okay stay tuned I have a mustache right now I don't really want to talk about it I'm gonna shave it tonight I've been wearing my mask like leave me alone also, I want to note that I'm not only doing this because one, I'm really hungry, um, but because I want to push myself out of my comfort zone, and also because I am feeling um, a little uncomfortable cooking. It just went really quiet in my house. Kathy, I'm so sorry if you heard that girl. Okay, so the place I'm going is right next to my house. It's called La Bouche Alouche. Um, and I'm semi-cheating because I have kind of been there before. I went to, like, the grocery portion of their store, and the guy who works there was super nice to me, um, and he was, like, trying to converse with me, and I was really uncomfortable and super awkward. Uh, but today I'm gonna go to the restaurant portion of their store and, um, ask them for some kind of meal. Why am I, like, rambling and, like, postponing this? Like, I need to just go. Okay, well... Kathy just left, and so I could cook in peace, technically, um, but I feel like I should still just go. Me waiting for Kathy and her friend to exit the building so that I don't feel awkward trailing behind them. <laughs> okay, so I thought I was hit record to fit, like hear what I was saying so that you guys could see, um, but basically- oh my god, it's so loud. Um, Basically, I walked into the store and the guy remembered me and he started talking to me in English and so I had to say, hey, um, I'm gonna try and speak in French. And he said, okay. And I asked him in French if he had a takeout menu and he started rapid speaking French back to me. And I was like, okay, so like, you know, like where, like what my level is, like this is not very helpful. Um, but I sort of got the gist of what he was saying because he ended up putting some English words in there for me. Um, and the food was sold out. Um, but he was super sweet and asked me um, like how my vegetables the other day were and everything. Um, and then so I left and said goodbye and thanked him. And then I walked away searching for uh, a new place to eat. But then I panicked and started going the opposite direction. And now I'm too scared to turn back because he will see me go back in the opposite direction. And so now I am, now I am lost, so. So I still have like not turned back. Um, <laughs> I thought that I would maybe like stumble across another restaurant. I have not yet. Um, well, Okay. La cool douche. Bonjour. Um, je veux dire une croque chèvre, s'il vous plaît. De la croque chèvre, s'il vous plaît. Sorry? Pardon, mon français, uh, N'est pas très bon. Oui. Merci. Okay. So let's talk about what happened. Um, I ended up having to loop back um, and walked in front of the store anyways. The first place that I went to. And this time the owner was standing outside. So he saw me and he said hello. And so I looked like a full idiot. Um, I finally found another place to eat. Um, very close to my house. It was a small bakery. Um, and the one thing that I said I wouldn't get is bread and cheese because that is what I have been eating nonstop. But I panicked when I got there and got 
bread with cheese because it was the only thing other than like a dessert that I could look at with certainty and know that it didn't have meat in it. So that was kind of dumb. Um, my French was really bad. Like I had practiced saying certain phrases. I even know the word for hot. Um, but when it actually am in that situation, um, everything that I know went out the window. But I still I'm sweating from the social anxiety um I still count that as a win for today um I did something that was uncomfortable and out of my comfort zone and didn't kill me um so I think that I will be more comfortable in the future going out to eat keep in mind this is only a day two like I don't know why I'm putting so much intense pressure on myself but I think it's really um dumb to go to France and be scared of speaking French. So that was today's goal and I think I did it. I am now going to memorize a bunch of food and ingredient terms in French so that I know what the menus say. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Also, um, last thing, I know this is just like another kind of like pastry with cheese um but it is so good like this is divine do you see this oh my god